Hey guys, back with another video. Today we're talking about why now is a great time to invest in psychedelics. This is what I'm doing. Um, it's definitely one of the major industries that I've been putting a good amount of money in. And uh, it's not financial advice, just sharing my opinion and what I'm doing. So, um, number one, MDMA um, assisted uh, psychotherapy for PTSD is going to be approved most likely um, you know, within the next year or so. <clears throat> and, um, you know, this has been a long time in the running. MAPS are the ones behind the uh, the studies for MDMA and are going to be the, um, you know, the ones administering the drug, at least for the next five years. And, um, <clears throat> you know, MAPS has been around for 37 years and they've been fighting to, you know, bring psychedelics as a medicine to people. And uh, this in particular was a great focus because they focused on PTSD. Now, the significance of this is that it's helped um, psychedelics become uh, popular on both sides of the spectrum, both sides of the political spectrum. Both Democrats and Republicans are uh, largely in support of, you know, psychedelics as medicine at this point. And I think a large reason of that is because they focused on PTSD. And this means that a large percent of the people that they are treating are actually veterans, <clears throat> which means that, um, you know, that kind of just makes it a lot more popular politically because they are helping, you know, ex-military people who are suffering, you know, a lot. And, uh, you know, this is actually, this is huge because unlike a lot of uh, bio, biopharma, <clears throat> You know, CRISPR is a great example. Uh, this is just popular all around. CRISPR obviously is very controversial. You know, a lot of people either on a religious basis or a moral basis are not necessarily in support of gene therapy. However, <clears throat> psychedelics, you know, now that the stigma is slowly fading behind us and, um, you know, we're really trying to help veterans and people with mental health issues and there's no you know, real moral dilemma here. Um, it's just, it's by, it has bipartisan support and this will be huge, not just to get it approved, but also for, to hopefully, um, allow insurance to cover it, even though it will likely be an expensive treatment. Um, you know, PTSD is also right now an expensive treatment. And, uh, I think, you know, the possibility of, you know, one powerful treatment or a few powerful treatments, um, potentially, you know, significantly reducing PTSD in the in the population uh, is worth it, even if it is expensive for those few treatments. So, um, you know, that's one of the major reasons why I think now is a great time. Another reason it's a great time to buy psychedelic stocks, you know, and I want to clarify, I'm talking about the best of the best psychedelic stocks, because there's a lot of psychedelic stocks out there, a lot of penny stocks that I am not touching. I'm, um, you know, the vast majority of my um, allocation in psychedelics is really just in a tie and compass pathways, kind of the two uh, big, big ones. Also, G GHRS Research, which is focused on DMT, also has a huge cash position. And I think they have the largest market cap of any of them, but they um, they don't have as much public information out there. So I, I honestly have just a pretty small position in them as well. But, okay, where was I? So, um, these psychedelic companies, their valuations are very attractive. This is the second reason why. They, a lot of them, are around book value in their, um, you know, in their market cap, especially Atai Life Sciences. If you add up Atai's cash with their position in Compass Pathways, which I believe they have about a 20% position in Compass Pathways, they, um, you know, the amount that they own in Compass Pathways combined with their cash position is a larger dollar amount than their market cap value. So, and there's a lot of companies like this. Um, so the valuation of these companies, in my opinion, is very attractive. Um, so that's reason number two. The third reason is just the massive opportunity, as I've talked about before, is that it's just a massive opportunity, unfortunately, um, mental health. 
hundreds of billions of dollars a year is being spent on mental health in America and, um, you know, all around the world also. And there hasn't been any innovation really over the past 30 or 40 years, uh, ever since SSRIs have been invented, there hasn't been much new, um, things added to the market. And, um, actually when SSRIs were invented, that kind of ended the era of psychotherapy. And now we're kind of bringing back that era, combining it with the psychedelics and where SSRIs and, you know, the current standard of care kind of treats symptoms and, uh, kind of, you know, has side effects a lot of the time, reduce sexual performance, um, you know, weight gain, um, less, low lows and less high highs, you know, which could be good or bad. These uh, psychedelic psychotherapy treatments um, really address the uh, the root causes and try to teach the patient how to handle their emotions and process their emotions and learn that what's happened in the past is the past. And, uh, you know, it's really a revolutionary style of treatment, at least compared to how our, our current treatment is. So, I think, um, I think once some of the first patients are treated with these treatments and they have very good outcomes, I think it will spread very quickly and be used, you know, relatively quickly, which is needed from a business perspective because, um, maps and the companies that are working with, um, molecules that have been around for a while are only going to have, uh, I believe five years of, um, of, uh, basically where they're the only ones who can administer the treatment. I believe they're only going to have five years if these treatments, you know, if these, if these molecules have already existed. So, um, but I think that won't matter that much since I really think it's going to be a revolution and people are going to want to take the thing, obviously that solves the issue rather than just masks the, um, masks the, uh, the symptoms while giving you pretty bad side effects. So those are the major reasons why I am very bullish. Also, there's just a huge amount, obviously, of um, anecdotal evidence of people suggesting that their lives have just been changed for the better and have just had extremely therapeutic experiences on these substances, you know, including MDMA, uh, LSD, and psilocybin. You know, there's just endless amounts of anecdotes on these things, as well as other countries have been using certain psychedelics for treatment, um, you know, currently, and there's tons of, uh, evidence from these countries as well. So that's it for the video. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe, see you guys in the next video.